Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just wanted to quickly explain what it is. Basically, while we were on excavation in Malton, a bunch of videos on my channel, if you want to find out more, um, we had to give some sight to us. And one of the people running it, or actually the guy running it, Steve Roscombe's the head of the site, um, gave us heritage students a little bit of a tour of the site um, via telling us what we should say to people um, and I filmed it so that I could remember it um, but I thought it was interesting to see from a heritage point of view how we give to us and the type of things that we say to the public and the type of things that we might not say to the public um, type of things that we focus on and just I thought it was yeah interesting to see the behind the scenes of how a tour is run um, it might not be great because I didn't film it with the intention of posting it online um, but yeah, I thought it would be really cool to share with you guys, so I'm going to share it anyway. So here we go. Point out across the field or something like that, mm -hmm. and explain about the way the road goes off into the distance. And yeah. past that, it's up to you whether you want to um, uh, talk a lot about this field, which we know about not from excavation but from aerial photography and geophysics. But you decide what you want to do about that. It is quite a good position to get people's eye in, in terms of what's happening elsewhere. And so the hillside, you can see in the crop, has been sort of modified terraced. So it's a good place to see that. And you can explain that that shows the kind of scale of settlement. It's just not building a few things. It's, it's a big change to the whole way in which this hillside works. And you can point to quite hopefully from here, um, uh, maybe via things that are still there like the, uh, the dumpy level there is roughly where the road is so that's a way of saying you know you can see the higher terrace where the road goes out across the field or something like that so they get an idea of how they locate themselves in the landscape and explain how this lower area here this lower terrace um, is a second modification and sort of the getting an idea about the scale of change here so that it's not just a, a few houses it's that they've they prepared for it by altering this this hillside on quite a big scale. So as you're walking along, you can say now you know we're moving from outside the settlement to inside, and there's a major boundary, something like that. So in here, you can point to the drift geology. We don't know; it presumably has its counterpart over here, and this great big gouge through it. And in the base of this, you can see just coming up at the minute is that what we think is a a rut in the roadway that formed through this, see this linear thing in here? It's sort of stain, that, that you know, would be quite useful in explaining that we're getting in contact with the immediacy of traffic driving along this, this road. Over here we have the counterpart of that road, so cobble metalling running across this area. So this is the other side of that big boundary ditch, so it stretches from here over to here. So. You need to really sort of point things out like it's heading across the landscape in that way. Okay. This bit in here might be the most difficult bit to explain and you might be able to only do it in quite a general way. But the main point, people will be able to understand the tile collapse over there and how much you money you want to say. But the, the essence of what we believe this to be is a, a platform. There is this deliberately laid masonry to form a level surface we think to put a timber frame structure of some sort on top and the significance of that is that it's laid here after this building has already collapsed and that building we know is in use into the fourth century so this was later than that and that I mean it's something you might be able to make quite a lot of if you want so this is the sort of evidence for dark age post-Roman Malton. Here you'll have to think quite carefully about uh, how much you reconcile being able to see things with safety because you know if you get lots of people over here you have to decide how, how many you're going to do that. If there's only half a dozen people it'd be okay but if there's 20 or 30 I would suggest you mainly keep them down here really. I think it has a timber frame superstructure and we know that it had a a stone tiled roof that's what we've been removing from there and you can point to the other ones that remain down there so there's a series of buildings of a very prestigious character basically so here you know 
if you want, you think you need to think about this, but I would stop again here, remind them that the, we're now back on the road line, which is more or less in here. There's a ditch over there. There's a ditch over there. It runs over between those two trees and just remind people of where they are located. And then it's up to you. This is really quite difficult to explain, I think. So you could just say we've got roadside buildings. But another point to make here is remind them that you've explained about that terracing and the scale of the modification of the hillside and that sort of thing. But also, as you look down the site here, you can see that some things are, are very built up structures in the foreground here and then other areas particularly that lower area down there is a gap so if the intention was to create these terraces and develop the whole thing there's still these these void areas which didn't get developed so that might be a, you know something else you can get them talking about and this is an opportunity to say and now we are moving from one side of the road where there are these prestigious probably mainly domestic structures to the opposite side of the road where there are a different there's a different sort of activity. So in this area um, we're getting structures, you can point those out. There's buildings in here and then from this point onwards there's open areas, these cobbled these cobbled surfaces. So that's sort of relatively straightforward. And I don't, you, you can find out what fines you're going to actually show them, but if one of the things probably will be that balance. Is that what, yeah, so that came from here. And so you can sort of, the implications of that is that's to do with weighing, measuring, and that sort of thing. And so that makes sense in terms of where this is. This is what we assume to be some sort of commercial property adjacent to the road. So it's the sort of thing where you might expect there to be weights and measures and that sort of, that sort of idea. But you can point out that although, again, this area seems to be deliberately planned, nonetheless there are big gaps. So past that probable wall, that area is unoccupied. So to the point of remind them again about the road. So there's, these are fronting on and active in relation to traffic when we get further back past that wall line there's a sort of backyard area and then a gap of, of occupation. I don't know what the interpretation of that is so if they ask we'll just have to say I don't know either. <laughs> you don't know either. Um, in here obviously this is a substantial building to that main wall so that's the big bit and you have to explain that this is just what we've exposed it runs off in this direction underneath the field runs off in that direction and in here it has good quality mortuary floors which you can see in elevation over there in that section that's going to point them to with the collapsed rubble falling onto it and in here it has this sunken area so these are pillars with the with a would been a, originally a stone a slabbed stone floor lying across the top of these and we think this is either to do with um, a hypercourse, you know, a heated room, maybe a, a granary for you know, raised floor for the storing and dry grain. And you can explain as we get beyond this, we enter a very different sort of activity. External areas, these are drains with, uh, with stone cutting. That building and the buildings down there are all on the alignment of the fort and the road, whereas here it changes and they be, should be able to see that. So. Here you've got structures which are in a different alignment. And this feature will begin to give them an idea about the very different character. This is some sort of kiln type feature, oven, not quite sure what at the moment. But there is therefore production taking place here. So this is a good place, and then there's external areas over here. So this is a good place to kind of try and sum things up, so that you know, right down by the road you've got what we believe to be commercial premises, shops or whatever, and then they're set on ordinary and proper properties, then there's gaps, and then this other prestigious building, and then by the time we get up to here, on a new alignment, we're, you know, explain we're now beyond the line of the fort, because that you know, stops in the field over there, and flowing round, traffic would have been coming out of a different gate now to access this area, we assume. And that these are some sort of external cobblings and 
production in kilns and that sort of thing. Just check what, are, what fines we're going to show them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we're going to have a bit of an ask about session first thing. Okay, yeah. and find out where they come from. You know, so you can say later on you'll be seeing a very nice, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And that balance, that, that weighing balance, is from a commercial, you know, place. Yeah. Uh, there's other prestigious stuff. So just check out where they are from, so that the fines aren't just nice fines, but they're fines that have come from a context. Because that's what we're about, mm -hmm. sort of telling us about the different function area. Brilliant. All right. So, thank you. Steve. That's great. Thank you. Right. Any... Thank you for watching. I hope that was a little bit interesting for you. If you have any requests or questions, then leave them down in the comments. New videos every Wednesday. Like, subscribe and all that jazz and I'll see you next week. Bye!